We have some news about Daima, where we will possibly have an adaptation to the manga and the behind the scenes of the new anime will soon be revealed, along with the new villain, and today I also bring some theories for you, so leave a like and subscribe to channel so as not to miss any news and give us strength, with that said, let's get started. <laughs> Well, folks, a lot of people wonder if Daima will be adapted in the manga, thus becoming part of the official story of Dragon Ball, which is why Toyotaro released an image on his Twitter that tickled fans' curiosity, which is a page of Dragon Ball Daima manga. As if the series would be fitted into the super story, I'm very optimistic but I believe that just like GT, Daima will not receive a manga, and that this image of Toyotaro is just a tribute to the series, exactly as it is a shadow of GT. After all, Goku will roam the universe in a spaceship, meeting different planets and powerful fighters throughout the universe, including a great enemy that can emerge from the Makai world, which is the Kingdom of Demons, exactly. Since in the trailer we saw a huge tree that is identical to the one that exists in the Makai world, which as far as we know was dominated by Dabura, who is the most powerful demon according to Ko. So guys we will finally see more about this mysterious race of Dragon Ball, who are the opposite of angels, understand? Now the question remains who will be the main villain of this arc? Whoever it is, it is in this villain's interest for Goku to lose his powers, which is why he made Goku and his gang become children, and we also know that he probably did this so that they would lose a good part of their powers. Since Goku and Vegeta they were very powerful, one theory I have is that this villain could be Zarama. This is because he is the creator of the super spheres that are spread throughout the universe. This would explain why Goku would be on a journey through space, as the super spheres are the are the only ones that can be found in space. We also had the black star spheres from Dragon Ball GT that also spread throughout space after the wish is made, but we have no indication that these spheres will appear in Daima. No matter how much the series is inspired by Akira in Dragon Ball GT, imagine if the ultimate Shinron appears in Daima. That giant red dragon, it would be very epic, in my opinion he is the most beautiful dragon in the series, and in yours? Anyway, guys, this new series promises. I really want to know your theories about Daima here in the comments, I guarantee that if it's good I'll bring it here on the channel, but I'll be reading them all, okay? That was today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for your audience. A big hug and I went.